Hey guys, Sam back here with Planes on the Prairie, again at the Fargo Air Museum with the 1968 Pitts S1C Special. So the Pitts is a very capable aerobatic aircraft. It was designed in 1945 by, and flown by a man named Curtis Pitts, who will forever be a legend in the aerobatic industry. The Pitts Special became very uh, famous and popular by some very uh, great aerobatic performances at, at worldwide competitions and air shows and in 1962 the Pitts factory actually started issuing plans for home-built Pitts specials. This one itself, the Pitts S1C, is a home-built version and this one uh, is a local aircraft a man from Erie, North Dakota, just a little bit north of Castleton area owned this and uh, hasn't flown or at least based off of records hasn't flown since at least 2013 and uh, if you want to come around here we can take a look at some of the features of a Pitts Special. All right so here we are at the cockpit of the Pitts S1 Special as you can see it's not very big at all pretty simplified controls so we have a lot of our basic ones but uh, if you can see right in here this top left instrument is actually our, uh, our G units instrument so that determines how many G's you're pulling at one point very, very important to know if you're flying aerobatics just so you don't put any excess strain on your body and because uh, you know aerobatics are a very heightened risk uh, activity but as you can see very small can't be a very large or tall person to fly these but um, the Pitts S1 specials are different from the S2s a lot of S2s are still around and the S2s are a two-seat tandem version there's also Pitts Model 12s where they outfit the uh, engine instead with a radial engine. This one has a Lycoming I or Lycoming 0360 which it produces 180 horsepower. So we actually have two of these pits at the Air Museum. We actually we're in the second hangar, the newer hangar of the Fargo Air Museum and uh, in the other hangar we have what's called a Pitts S1S special. So we'll cut here and we'll go talk about that one in this video as well. All right, so we're back in the main hangar of the Fargo Air Museum, and above me we have one of the oldest aircraft in the museum's collection, which is the Pitts S1S Special. So the S is just another variant. Uh, it's actually a production variant. Typically, uh, the Pitts uh, factory or like the factory Pitts Specials, they are four aileron like this one. Uh, the other one was four aileron in the other hangar, but a lot of the S1Cs are just uh, two aileron versions, but. Nowadays, Pitts is actually under a company called AVI Aircraft out of uh, Afton, Wyoming. They also make aircraft such as the Christian Eagle, which looks a lot like this. Uh, you'll typically see those in like a rainbow paint scheme. And also the AVI Husky is another very famous aircraft, which is like a Super Cub spinoff. Really great uh, bush flying aircraft. But they're very uh, common aircraft around the area. There's a group of people up in Northwood who fly these around. Um, really good people there. And uh, the Pitts is actually has a little bit of military history, not necessarily like you can't apply it into like a combat role, but the Royal, Royal Jordanian Air Force actually flew Pitts S2s, which are the two seat versions in their aerobatics demonstration team uh, back, I believe, in the 60s and 70s before switching to uh, extra 300s. So that was a little bit in interesting history. You see these a lot in the air show circus circuits. Um, Lucas Oil Air Shows has a pit special, and you'll see some other ones out there, some highly modified versions. But a really cool aircraft with a lot of uh, a lot of still uh, aircraft still making the history around now in the air show circuit. You can also see them in Reno in the biplane class. They would race uh, pitses and Mong Sports, which are uh, similar looking aircraft. But uh, as for this specific one, I couldn't find too much in uh, specific history other than the fact that it was one of the first aircraft to arrive at the Air Museum uh, upon its founding in 2001. And it's been uh, hung up in the hangar ever since. It's moved a couple of different spots on the, on the ceiling, but uh, always will be displayed at the museum in the, uh, along with the Egg Cat, which is also in here, one of the more permanent aircraft in the museum. But uh, if you want to come check out uh, these aircraft and many other really cool aircraft in the Fargo Air Museum, we uh, really recommend you stopping by. And if there are anybody, if there is anybody out there who are aircraft owners, we would 
and are interested in uh, in letting us tour the aircraft and showing it off to our viewers, we'd be more than happy to come and film it. So if you have uh, anything like that, just let us know. And uh, any sticker order requests or anything like that, just feel free to uh, reach us on any of our social media outlets or go after our Gmail, which we have in the description. So thanks for watching, guys. We really appreciate you taking along, and we'll see you on the next one.